This morning we are in Phnom Penh, Cambodia's capital city. We are very excited to be in our sixth country and to get out and explore more. But first we have quite the somber morning planned. Cambodia has a very tragic and recent past and we feel that it's important to spend some time learning about what happened here just a little over 40 years ago. So we're going to be starting this morning at the S21 Genocide Museum. Swimming upstream. This was actually a high school that was converted into the S21 prison in 1975 where thousands of people were held and tortured over the span of four years. Today it's a memorial and a museum and we're going to be doing the audio tour to learn more about those that were held here. It's a little after 11 o'clock and we've been here for about two and a half hours. We just finished the tour. It took us through each one of the buildings here and gave a pretty detailed account of what took place. It's hard to put into words really how we're feeling right now, but I'm really glad that we started our time here in Cambodia learning about such an important part of the history here. We just hopped in a tuk-tuk and we're now heading about 30 minutes south of town to one of the many killing fields here in Cambodia and the main one associated with the S21 We've just come to the killing fields where thousands of people were brought between 1975 and 1979. We're going to be doing a similar audio tour around the grounds. We've been touring the grounds for a little over an hour now and just finished at the main memorial stupa where roughly 8,000 skulls of the victims here are being housed. But there are several very impactful sites along the grounds. One in particular for me was the killing tree where many small children were brutally killed against the base of the tree and thrown into one of the shallow mass graves here. We did know a little bit about this history before we came here, but I'm very glad we went to both of these sites because they were equally impactful and we really learned a lot. But it's almost two o'clock, so we're gonna start making our way back towards Phnom Penh now. 
We made it back into town for lunch. It was a tough morning, but today's our only day here at Phnom Penh, so we're going to try and turn it around and explore this afternoon. We just had lunch off the of Street 240. This seems like a really cute and trendy area with a lot of cool cafes and shops. So next stop, we're going to see if we can find some coffee. Coffee and brownie. It's already four o'clock, so I'm not sure coffee was a good idea, but I really needed that pick me up for this walk. One of our favorite things to do in a new city is to check out a market, and we have come to the Russian market, which is one of the biggest ones in Phnom Penh. We read that this time of day is actually a great time to come check out this market, and that is definitely true tonight. You know it's a local market when they're selling nuts and bolts instead of handbags and t-shirts. Still this way? Still this way. We just came up to this awesome rooftop bar that has such a cool vantage point over the market. We get to see all the action. 